Hey Yang Yang. Woo! With, um, uh, with the Unified Skull Mark. Green and, Party! Uh, Peter Brooks with um, Fresh Air Filet House. The question has been asked, why don't we know where our candidates sit on this issue? One of the answers to that question is the legal uh, representative of the city has advised them that they can't take a position. If, if they're incumbents, they can't take a position of, on an act, active project in front of them. They would have to recuse themselves. Now, there are, there are other projects of this kind of nature going on in Solano County where the legal representations have been different. And that may be that may be the case. But they have to follow the advice of the city attorney, unfortunately. But I want to add to that, there's nothing that stops anyone here from going to any candidate and telling them what you think about Orsham. They need to hear from you now, and now is the time to hear it from everyone. Is there anybody questioning the legality of them making this move? The, of the of the city attorney making this move. Is anybody questioning the legality of that move? Telling candidates they are not allowed to that, take a position on something so publicly? Uh, well, it's an ongoing fight. Um, uh, the mayor right now is, is uh, Venetia is in a very similar fight and got her own legal representation. And there are efforts to force her to recuse herself. A condemnation of the project from the local Sierra Club organization. I want to know what this implies or what this could lead to in terms of a position by the national organization or by at any rate higher up um, instantiations of the Sierra Club. Okay, let me explain the, the structure of the Sierra Club. We're the Solano Group and we're active in the Redwood chapter. Um, we've been in discussions with other local groups within the Redwood chapter who have concerns. Uh, one of them is the, the Napa County chapter or group of the Redwood chapter. They have concerns because there could be possible impacts on the Napa watershed from this project. Uh, going up out of the local chapter above them is the national organization. Now the national organization has expressed concerns in a written response on the draft EIR concerning what the rest of the project is for. And Actually, staff attorneys with the National Sierra Club are not only aware of this, they're tracking it deeply. Yes, ma'am. You say that um, basically what I've seen as our city attorney has done is, is, um, is issued a gag order, basically. I see the legal advice as being um, equal to a gag order. So my question is, can you ask candidates what their concerns are? Can they express their concerns? Or can they not speak to it at all? Well, let me tell you, I, let me give you a, I am not a lawyer speech. Right. And I wouldn't think to offer any of our candidates legal advice. However, that being said, there are other interpretations out there that I've seen, and I would expect that either the candidates themselves or supporters of that candidates who could be retained by those candidates and do have the requisite legal expertise could guide them appropriately. As you know, we candidates are more of a wind gauge than the company. So if you go and tell them and they give them all of you and take you against force, that can sway their feelings. Protected and valuable property that we have in Vallejo. Yes. We have an obligation to make sure that we have the fullest and the best use for our water work. Potential for us to move into a different direction and have more economic development here. We can bring more tourists in here. We want to make sure that the waterfront is always there for the people. That's right. And yeah. not for corporations. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Refinery expansion in Richmond. Yay. Woo we have the professor of environmental justice from UC Davis, and we have a Richmond City Council person all coming to discuss.
environmental justice. What it is, more importantly, yeah. how to get it. Yeah. This event for September 30th at Grace Patterson Elementary School is designed to empower the residents of South Vallejo and to teach them how they can demand the environmental justice that they deserve. I invite you all to come to this free event.